as mentioned earlier, the entire nation, including all the states and the union territories in our country, is observing this day as the National Day of Sports. In remembrance, dedicated to sports, outstanding sports persons of this nation. We join them with so much enthusiasm on this day to also celebrate our own sports persons who have brought rurals to our people, to our state, to the northeastern region, and to the nation as a whole. We have so much potential to tap from. Resources we have in plenty. Natural resources also. But in all aspects of human resources, sports is one area where I feel we have fail to tap the potentials and the resources of our youths. We have excelled in so many other fields, especially in music. You have just seen our little girl, how she has learned from the Britain's got talent, I suppose. She's challenging you to rise up higher, stronger, and be at par with your peers across the globe. We have, back in the 60s, when our state was a national state in this union, you have seen how great sportsmen like Dr. T. Al was the football captain and for the first time or for ever being able to qualify for the participation in the Olympics with the team. They have created record in history for themselves by playing barefooted. They removed their football boots. It was the first and the last of its kind. We are ever so proud, after which the second Olympian from our state was Jacobone, a lady, a girl. So we have, though a small state with a very small population, we have shown our prowess, prowess in the field of sports. In every discipline, in every discipline, most seniors are here. I can see your faces in different character activities and disciplines you have yourself. And we continue to create significance in this field. We have many who can excel still more, but for want of the basic facilities. We have been unable to tap the potentials. I must apologize on behalf of the government, my predecessors and we and I, we have failed to take up this area more seriously in a focused manner. 
One thing which has held us back from providing you with the basic amenities, even in the rural areas, is our fund constraint. So for everything, we look to the center. And of course, they have been generous and they have given us what most of the states also receive. But beyond that, the other more financially sound states have gone ahead with their own resources that are available to them. Which is where we have not been able to do our part of the state because of our constraints. But my dear children, we assure you our state is also fast developing. We are looking for ways and means to generate more income and revenue for the state. You don't be discouraged. Under our present Chief Minister's leadership, I think this area, sports, or the youth resources, have taken a giant stride, and the government is determined to do all it can to give you the basic amenities and facilities which you so well deserve. Don't be discouraged. You have read histories about great sportsmen who have started from the backyards, the alleys, for one instance, like the Latin American countries who are famous in the game of football, they too have no grounds, no playgrounds. They play in the streets, in the alleys, and that's how they train up themselves. They hold, they groom, and they promote themselves. We share determination, share grief, they managed to qualify themselves, reaching up to the dizzying heights in the international level. So, other things apart, I feel something which is the pivotal aspect of sports, man, is your self-discipline. Self-discipline has been taught to you over and over again. I don't need to emphasize. But you have got to be honest with yourself and maintain that part of life as a, as a rule in your life. I'm glad that we have so many gold, silver and bronze recipients. This is a very promising sign. You are excelling here and we continue to support you as best as we can in the days to come also. We hope this department of sports and youth resources will be a focal area in the next plan of the state government and in the subsequent years too. It will be given more attention. We have so much to say. We can go on and on. But we have other pre-engagements for which we are cutting short. My stay here. But on behalf of the state government, on behalf of all the parents, the guardians and the citizens of this state, I wish to congratulate each and every one of you and assure you of our support in the coming days. We thank the department under the advisorship of Sri Kyushu that he has managed to organize such a beautiful event today. And May you succeed and excel in all your future endeavors too.
we organize here to celebrate not just the spirit of sportsmanship but also the unity and diversity that define our great nation. Sports have always held a special place in our hearts. They go above boundaries, cultures and language, uniting us in a common pursuit of excellence, discipline and determination. As we commemorate the birth anniversary of the legendary Major Dayan Chand, a true icon in the realm of Indian sports, let us not only honor his remarkable achievement, but also take inspiration from his unwavering dedication to his craft. Nagaland, known for its breathtaking landscape and rich cultural heritage, has also been a breeding ground for exceptional sports talent. The unyielding passion displayed by our athletes, athlete, athletes both past and present, exemplifies the unshakable Naga spirit. Today, as we come together, let us recognize and celebrate their contributions to our state and to our national sports, sporting legacy. This event serves as a reminder that sports not only fosters physical skill, but also cultivate invaluable life skills such as teamwork, perseverance, and leadership. It is our duty to provide unwavering support to our athletes, enabling them to reach new heights and bring laurels to our beloved Nagaland. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have tirelessly worked behind the scenes to organize this, this event. Your de de dedication and force have made this gathering possible and have contributed to the promotion of sports in our state. Once again, a warm welcome to each one of you. Let us make this National Sports Day celebration a memory to cherish and a source of inspiration for times to come. Thank you. On this National Sports Day, we honor the legacy of Metro Tayan Chan. His passion of the game reminds us. Today, on this auspicious occasion, we Nagaland joins the rest of the nation to celebrate this moment. I am proud and glad to be a part of it in the presence of our Honorable Minister for Power and Parliamentary Affairs, Government of Nakale. Thank you, sir. Your presence here is a great honor and privilege for us. Taking this advantage, the Department of Youth Resources and Sports give away awards to the very dear sports persons numbering more than 3,300 from, from different sports events. Who proved this respected sports areas? Today, I would like to remind the awarders to be an inspiration for the upcoming sports stars of Nagaland. Let us renew our commitment to provide the best opportunities, facilities, and support to our aspiring sports person in Nagaland. I am honored to witness the passion and dedication of the awardees who work actively participate in promoting a culture of sports to bring glory of our nation and our state. Let's encourage our youth to embrace physical activity and learn from the value of sports instead. Today, we can make India and our state a formidable force on the global sporting stage. Thank you and Jai
Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.